friends, I'm Gisa from Butterfly Garden Preschool and today we're going to talk about sea stars. Sea stars live in the tide pools, which is the habitat we've been talking about. And I have a book today that um, I'd love to read to you. It's called Starfish. Now, lots of people call sea stars starfish, but that name is not quite accurate because these are not fish. So sea stars is a more scientifically accurate name to call them. So although the name of this book is called Starfish and it's written by Edith Thatcher Hurd and it's illustrated by Robin Brickman. So sometimes as we learn more about things in science, um, names and uh, sometimes information changes. So here are some different sea stars. Sea stars live in the sea. Sea stars live deep down in the sea, and sea stars live in pools by the sea. Some sea stars are purple, and some sea stars are pink. This is the sunflower sea star. It is the biggest of all. Sea stars have many arms. The arms are called rays. Sea stars have arms, but no legs. Sea star have feet, but no toes. They glide and slide on tiny tube feet. They move as slowly as a snail. Have you ever seen a sea star? Have you ever been to the tide pools? If you live in Los Angeles, we're lucky because we have tide pools that are easy to go to and to see some of these sea creatures. The basket star looks like a sea star, but it is a little different. It doesn't have two feet. It moves with its rays. It's rays that go up and rays that go down. Tiny brittle stars are like the basket star. They hide under rocks in pools by the sea. You can see they're right next to the mussels. The mud star hides in the mud. It is a sea star. It has tiny tube feet. A sea star has no eyes. A sea star has no ears or nose. Its tiny mouth is on its underside. When a sea star is hungry, it slides and it glides on its tiny tube feet. It hunts for mussels and oysters and clams. It feels for the mussels, it feels for the oysters, it feels for the clams, it feels for something to eat. The sea star crawls over a clam. Its rays go over it, its rays go under it, its rays go all over the clam. The sea star pulls and pulls, it pulls the shell open and it eats the clam inside. You can see that happening right here. It's really cool. Sometimes a sea star loses a ray. A crab may pull it off, a rock may fall on it, but this does not hurt. It does not bother the sea star. The sea star just grows another ray. In the spring when the sun shines warm and the sea grows warm, sea stars lay eggs. Sea stars lay eggs in the water. They lay many, many, many tiny eggs. The eggs look like sand in the sea. The tiny eggs float in the water. They float up and down. They move with the waves and the tide up and down. The tiny eggs change and grow. They float in the water. They move with the waves back and forth, back and forth. Then they sink to the bottom and they grow into tiny sea stars. The tiny sea stars grow scratchy and hard. They grow little rays. They grow tiny two feet to crawl on. Baby sea stars eat and eat and eat. First, they eat tiny things that float in the sea. Then they eat mussels and oysters and clams. They eat and they eat. They grow and they grow. There are many different sea stars. Some are big, some are thin, some are prickly, some are prickly and pink, 
some are prickly and gray, some are just a tangle. Look on the rocks by the sea, look in the pools by the sea, look for sea stars, the stars of the sea. So I hope that when we are out of quarantine, you will go to the tide pools with your families and you will look for these little creatures and other special animals that live in the tide pools. Um, we are going to make a sea star and we're going to, I'm going to show you how the sea star eats its prey. So the first thing you'll need out of the homework packet from this week are the two sea star patterns, the ones with the little design. And then parents, you will want to cut out a circle in one of them. The other one stays whole. And we're actually gonna use this side. So make sure your, your kiddos color this side and this side. I mean, they can color this side too, I did, but. And then what you're gonna need is some crepe paper or streamers if you've got that. If not, you can cut out a little uh, piece of fabric or even a little piece of fabric from the sock or an old shirt or if you have fabric laying around. Because what you're going to do is you're going to stick, this is going to be the sea star stomach. So let me show you. Under here is where the sea star stomach is. And see all the little tubed feet? So what the sea star does is it crawls on top of the little mussel shell. And remember the mussel has two shells, it's a bivalve. And it crawls on top and, and holds on with those tubed feet and pulls the mussel apart. And then it sticks, its stomach comes out and goes into the crack when it's opened up goes into the crack and eats the mussel. It like dissolves it with its stomach. So, and you can see a little bit better here, the little tubed feet. And then this is where, this is where the stomach is. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to stick this in here and pretend like this is the stomach, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll glue glue it in there so that the end result is a little sea star and when you turn it over you can see its little stomach coming out. Now sea stars do not have skeletons right they have they are an invertebrate so they do not have skeletons like we do instead they have an exoskeleton which means they have a hard outer bony part. Sea stars have at least five arms. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. How many does my stuffed sea star have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So both of my sea stars have five um, arms and we've already talked about how the little, the little tube tube-like feet help it to grip, and then the stomach comes out to suck its prey, like they really love to eat mussels. So remember to send me a picture of your sea star. You can either send it to me via text, via my email, which is on our website, or you can post it to Instagram. I can't wait to see your sea stars. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and to hit the bell next to it so you get notified of our next lesson.